Hey guys, Justin here with Imageworks Painting. Today we're gonna be talking about filling some gaps, cracks, holes, doing a little bit of patching work. This is all prep work for getting the best quality final paint job you can. Um, behind us here, I knocked a couple dents, you know, a picture hole in our wall. You can see that our door frame needs a little love here. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of the quick little things that you need to do to make sure that you get these walls ready. Show you the products that you need and we'll show you a little bit of application right here all right these are a couple of the different products that we use when we're patching uh this stuff over here interior exterior patch so if you have a big hole in your wall and you need to do some real drywall patching you're going to need to get yourself some mud uh, we like to make our own this is some five minute mud so that means once it's mixed you have about five minutes to work with it um, obviously you'll need a mixing trough and an applicator whether you're using a big taping knife like this if you're repairing a big hole or just like a three inch spreader would work fine caulking this is going to be used around doors windows trim crown and baseboards uh, door frames window frames things like that this is from Sherwin Williams. This is their 1050 QD. That stands for quick dry. Um, you only have about 10 minutes to actually tool this stuff out and make it look nice, but you can paint it within 20 minutes after that. So that's why we like this product. A lot of other caulks, you've got to wait an hour or more before you can paint on top of it. So that's what this is really, really great for is, you know, production work. If you want to be able to get a room done in a day, grab some of this stuff. This is some spackling. Um, this is by DAP. This is the stuff that goes on pink and dries white. It's what I'm gonna use on the wall over there just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to show you spackling white on white would be really difficult. So this is what I'm gonna use just for today's video. But it really doesn't have anything special to it except that you know when it's dry, which is something that I kinda like. Now, if we were patching cracks on stucco, which is what we have down here in Florida in our Tampa branch a lot, this is what you wanna use. This is a textured brush grade elastomeric patch. Um, obviously we use a lot of it, so we go through gallons. This does come in a caulk tube as well. It's got the same label on it. Uh, we get this stuff from Sherwin-Williams. Everybody has their own, but you're looking for an elastomeric patch. We get the texture because we have a lot of sand finished stucco down here and brush grade and knife grade, they're just two different consistencies. Um, brush grade obviously is a little bit thinner. You can apply it with a brush if you need to, whereas the knife grade would be better for vertical surfaces where you need to have it stick a little bit more, have it a little bit thicker, and you apply that with a knife, um, same type of knife that you would use to apply drywall mud with. All right, so I'm gonna get a couple of these opened up and loaded up, and we'll see you back at the wall. All right, guys, as you can see on our wall here, we've got a couple of dings and dents that we want to go ahead and smooth out before we put some paint on this wall. We also have an old nail hole uh, from hanging a picture. And then we're going to be caulking up the gaps in this, filling a couple of little nail holes here and there. We're going to go ahead and take care of the wall first. It's really simple, guys. You're just going to take your little spreader. Load it up with some patch, put it over that. And what you want to do is you want to press into the wall as you're applying it. And it's always a good idea to go ahead and let it build up just a little bit. That way you've got an area to sand off. If you press too hard into this, it will just pull the patch right back out. That looks great right now with the patch. However, it's actually still dented in. So if you just want to leave a little bit extra there, when this dries, we'll go ahead and sand it. Nail holes. This one right here actually happens to be able to be patched just with the knife. Sometimes it's going to be easier for you to just grab it with your finger though, press it in. That way you're not dirtying a ton of tools if all you have is a couple nail holes to fill. I'm gonna go ahead. Pat 
hash right over top of that. So that's it as far as drywall patching goes. Very simple process. As you can see, it only takes a minute or two to do. And the payoff at the end of the job is huge. You won't you ever know that I took a hammer to this wall for you. Now, as far as door trim goes, if you can take a look up here, you can see some of the nail holes from installing this trim. This same spackling is my favorite thing to use on door trim. I actually don't even use a knife for these. Just go ahead and tool it down with my finger. Again, even though this is shrink-free spackling, it's still going to shrink a little bit. They've not come out with something perfect yet. So just apply a little bit extra and we will sand away the rest. The last piece left in prep is caulking. So we had to actually remove this piece of door trim, so I need to run a new bead of caulk down both sides of this piece. Now the order of operations is to make sure that everything is installed and primed first. So prime your walls, prime your trim. Go ahead, do your finish work on it. Caulk, caulking sticks best to primed surfaces. Go ahead and tool your caulk, get it ready, and then we're gonna apply the finish coats. So in order to caulk, all we're gonna do Apply our bead of caulk. We have an entire video on types of caulk, how to use them, how to apply them. Go ahead and make sure you guys check those out. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe and we'll keep doing them. But while your caulking is still wet, just drag your finger down it. it helps the finger finger is wet, and you're actually pressing the caulk into that crack, as well as giving it a nice uniform look all the way down. If you're not very comfortable with caulking, you can run blue tape down the edge and that will give you a nice clean line on both sides of the caulk. Um, after you do it for a while though, you're pretty good at just making sure that you get that there. All right, we're gonna come back when all of our prep work is dry so we can sand these spots down and we'll be finished with our prep, ready to start repriming those spots that we repaired and painting the walls. All right, now that our spackling has dried up, it's time to go ahead and sand it and make sure that the rest of it is ready to paint. So you can see that our spackling has turned white, which means that it is dry. Um, a lot of times, especially on woodwork like this, you can get away with just using your finger, lightly rubbing it down, and that will kind of melt the spackling until you don't see your spot anymore. And all that's left there is a filled spot. Now you can still see where you filled, but once we go through and paint it, that will all disappear. Now when you have larger patches like this, you just grab some fine sandpaper, this is 220. You're not putting a lot of pressure, let the sandpaper do the work. Your wall 
belt is ready to be spot primed and painted. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just take a little bit of primer, spot prime those little areas. That way your primed wall and your repairs accept new paint the same way. Give it a top coat and you are ready. Walls are complete. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching guys. If you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing, hit that like button and uh, we'll keep making these for you guys. If you have any videos that you guys want to see specifically done, leave us a comment below and we will try to get to that for you. Again, if you guys have any painting projects in the Tampa Bay, Florida or the Pittsburgh PA area, we have offices in both locations. Go ahead and check out our website at imageworkspainting.com and give us a call. Thanks.